Hey, yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club After Sayori Demo. So this one came out just a couple days ago, and I thought I thought I'd give it a try, you know. So new game, so that you don't ha have to play through the whole game to reach the demo. You can de declare your variables here. Oh, this will only be for the demo, and st the start of the game won't be the same when the mod is finished. Uh, confess to Sayori or friends. Oh, confess. Uh, bake with Natsuki or decorate with Yuri. Pfft, Yuri. Yuri is superior than the small first year. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. Oh no. Do we have to see her die again? Please, no. After rain clouds and the original game, that was enough. I considered going to her house to wake her up. But aside, that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over than so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. Okay, that's nice, Noodle Boy. Noodle Boy! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. Also, where's the music? Like, where's the music? Okay. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems for performing. In the end, I found a random poem online I thought Monica would like and submitted it. <sighs> Yawn. Okay. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept. Again. That dummy. You think on a day this important, she'd try a little harder. Shut up! Noodle boy, I swear. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not really that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, noodle boy. After all, she hasn't been herself lately. She's right, maybe I should have checked up on Sayori. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Oh, yeah, sure. No, go check on Sayori! I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so, too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize the other's poems from the ones they had performed during our practice. I read Sayori's through once more. It's the same from the other day, but now with context. I get a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Are you feeling okay, Noodle Boy? You don't look very well. Uh, I'm going to get Sayori. I go to the door walking past Monica. Noodle boy? Monica calls out after me. Don't strain yourself too much. Shut up, Monica, you evil person. Ugh. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wake her up, or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs. That's what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori! She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I end up doing this after all. Uh, why? Waking her up in her own house. This is something a boyfriend would do. Yeah. In any case... It just feels right. No, it's not right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on the door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. 
I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. I'm so nervous. Oh, man. Isn't this kind of a breach of privacy? I don't want to see this again. I don't. But she really leaves me no choice. I open, I gently open the door. Say, ah, why? Why am I looking at this again? What the heck? What the heck? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way it can be real. So I already wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe my eyes are showing me. Uh, okay, there we go. Whew. I suppressed my urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I'd be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then, why? Why would she do this? How could it, I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. Man, I thought I picked a happy mod. Gosh dang it. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I, if I just spend more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like I, it always has been, then I could have prevented this. Nope, it always happens, Noodle Boy, I'm pretty sure. Unless oh, I haven't done the good ending. Huh? I know I could have prevented this. I, know, I don't know what to do. I just lost my friend, my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't like some game where everything can continue like normal. But it is a game. But it's a horrible one. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry the skill with me until I die. I have to face the consequences. Nothing in my life is more, th more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 I stood staring. It had been a good few minutes before I came to my senses. I thought I'd be crying, but I just feel numb. Bzz, bzz. My phone vibrates and I jump. A message from Monica. The festival's about to start. Are you two going to hurry up? I'll be there soon. Ah! Oh no, it's continuing after her death! Ah! No! Why? I reach the club room and I stand outside the door. I had, I, I had left just as I heard her parents beginning to wake. I left her as she was. Oh yeah, Sayori has parents finally! I couldn't handle doing anything about it right now. Where I could enter, the doors open and knocks me down. Blah. Why are you standing right behind the door? Of course you're going to get hit if, hit if you stand there. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> she hit me right in the face. I feel strangely grateful. Oh, wait, are you actually hurt? Are you okay? Now, Suki Ben Sam, see if I'm okay. I'm alright, it's fine. Don't be so over dramatic then. I get up my feet, brushing myself down. Where's Sayori then? Did she sleep in again? What a dummy. She's a bit ill today. Of course, trust, trust her to be ill on the most important day. Shut up, first year. She's dead. Okay, give her a little slack. I just wanted to hang out with her and it didn't end up being what I expected. Let's just get inside. I enter the club room. The tables are all pushed against the walls to leave space and the chairs are set up. Also, this music. Ooh, that's nice. There is a table full of cupcakes at the front and the banner is in the process of being hung up on the wall. Noodle Boy, where's Sayori? She's... She's sick. The dummy... And today as well. I'm sure she didn't decide to be sick. I'm not feeling too good either. Maybe I should go home. Are you sure? We could really use your help, especially today. You can't go home. That only leave three of us. We can't keep up with just three of us. Uh, no, I need to go home. 
I really need to go home. Well, we can't stop you. Get better soon. Nope, you're staying here. No, I'm not. I'm going home. Natsuki. What, you're expecting me to let him leave? You said you were joining the literature club. You're not leaving us now. Please, Natsuki, just this one time. She doesn't respond for a couple seconds. Fine. But you owe us big time, little boy. Sh shut up, first year. If you knew what I just saw, you would be up. Uh, okay? Thanks, Natsuki. I walk out of the classroom door and I walk down the hallways. Seeing everyone going from room to room with their friends gives me that feeling of a pit in my stomach again. I rush to get out of school and I start to head home. Staying back with the club would have kept my mind off Sayori's death, but I would have probably killed the mood for everyone there. Guilt. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. The walk home took longer than usual. I stood outside my house for a while before entering. I look at the time on my phone. Nine o'clock. This is going to be a long day. I look around my house trying to find something to do. Something, anything to stop myself thinking. I decide to read manga. What to choose. I start to space out as I look th through the stack. Ah! Why? Why did you leave me? Oh gosh, no. Ah! Guilt, okay. <laughs> I quickly look through the stack of manga I have and decide to read the first volume, the Netju no Sume. Time passes quickly when you're reading, huh? It's almost time for lunch, but I'm not that hungry. I finish the volume and decide to watch TV for the next two long hours. I get a message from Monica. The festival is finishing up and I think that they should know what happened to Sayori. I guess. Wait, how did Monica find out? I expect us there shortly. Okay. I straighten up the house and I clean my room. I should at least make an effort, right? As I get done, I hear a knock at my door. I walk to the door and open it and I see Monica is the only one there. Where's the others? Natsuki and Yuri both went home to change and will be here shortly. Right. How did you find out? The head teacher came over to the festival um, before the festival started. He said that he got a phone call from Sayori's parents. Monica smiles weakly. I need you to know this isn't your fault, okay, Doodle Boy? You're right, it's your fault. There's nothing you could have done. How do you know that? I could have done so much more. You're just going to have to trust me on this. Why am I playing this right after rain clouds? It's, it hurts. Ah. Okay. It wasn't your fault. I know I'm not going to win here. Well, if you say so. Monica pulls me into a hug. Oh, I guess Monica's not evil in this one. It's nice that I'm not the one starting it this time. We stand there for a minute before she pulls away. Are you sure you're going to be alright? I'll do my best. Suddenly there's a knock at the door. Come in! I shout to them, not really wanting you to get up again. Yuri and Natsuki come through smiling cheerfully. Why? It's She's dead! Stop smiling! I feel like the worst person in the world. I'm about to ruin their day. Come in and have a seat. I'll make some tea. I get up and make tea. I thought you didn't want to get up again, Noodle Boy. Make your mind. I then hand it out to the group that are sitting at the table. I place a teacup in front of it. Um, in from. A teacup in from of every. Okay, that's supposed to be front. Spelling error. Of everyone and take a seat across from them. Alright then. There's a pause in between my words. I take a deep breath. Uh, I guess I'll be the first to say it then. W what's up with Sayori? Well, yesterday morning I went to see Sayori. I won't exact tell you exactly what she said. But basically she told me she had really bad depression. And that some days she didn't even want to get out of bed. That she didn't want anyone to care about her. That Suki and Yuri are listening really closely now. I can tell what's running through their heads. 
And later on, when she came over to my house, she told me some things, some kind of serious things. And I thought I knew what was best for her. So I did what I thought was best. And it turns out it wasn't. This morning, she wasn't answering any of my calls. I went to... See, I can see their face visibly drop. I had to bring all the festival stuff in, so I decided to leave her to wake her up herself. Maybe she just wanted to sleep. I wouldn't have blamed her after the day she had. So I came in. But I should have woke her up. I had a bad feeling and went to her house. She's... She's not here anymore. Uh, Sayori would have wanted us to enjoy the festival. I left early, not wanting to interfere with you guys. That's why me and Monica are telling you this now. There is a silence in the room for a while until Natsuki gets up and walks to the door. Natsuki, where are you going? Home. But we should all be together right now, right? Yeah, I have to agree with Monica. We need to talk about things. Talk? Your friend killed herself and you want to talk? That's not what I... I'm out. She slams the door behind her before I could say anything. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. It's okay, Yuri. No, I didn't. I need to go too. She opens the door and leaves without closing it. I go and close the door and then I slide myself down until I'm sitting up against the door with my hands in my face. Monica comes and sits next to me. That should not have gone like it did. Please don't blame yourself for anything. If I could tell you how I knew, I would. Just hold tight. We both get up. I open the door for Monica and close it behind her as she leaves. What does hold tight mean? She doesn't think. I do that. I do that. Does she? And how does she know anything? But it's really painful. I have no one to walk home with anymore. I don't have a best friend anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. I head in my room to write a poem for the next meeting. It's time. Pick the words you think something good. Whoever likes your poem the most. Say, ah. 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 I'm sorry. Ah. Say, sorry. I didn't mean to. Say, sorry. Say, sorry. You cannot be found. Noodle boy. Bring her back. You cannot be found. I'm sorry. Bring her back, little boy. Sayori, it's a, it's a. Shut up, Monica. End of twenty nine zero one eighteen demo. Ah, please give any feedback to the Discord. Thanks for playing. Ah, getting me all riled up and feeling sad like that, and then you just end the bloody demo. Ah, oh, man. Okay, uh, well, that was that. Thank you guys so much for watching After Sayori. This was a short little demo, I guess. I didn't know how long it was because um, there wasn't a game length yet because I don't think anyone had really played it much or reported how long it was. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my other Doki videos. If you want to see something happier, watch Act 5 at least. Don't watch Rain Clouds unless you want to cry for like four and a half days. And as always, um, if you have co um, mods you want to recommend, comment them down below or message me on Discord in the description. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye, Sayori. Uh...